King Charles III and Queen Camilla marked Holocaust Memorial Day by speaking with survivors of genocide. The royal couple marked the 78th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz-Birkenau at Buckingham Palace, meeting with Holocaust survivor Dr. Martin Stern and survivor of the Darfur genocide Amana Adam. Stern was taken to a Nazi concentration camp at age five, while Adam grew up as a member of the Persecuted for Tribe. Holocaust Memorial Day commemorates the lives of the six million Jewish people murdered during the Holocaust, alongside the millions of others killed under Nazi persecution and during subsequent genocides in Cambodia, Rwanda, Bosnia, and Arfur. At the end of their meeting, King Charles, 74, and Queen Camilla, 75, joined Stern and Adam in lighting a candle in remembrance of the victims of genocide. At 4 p.m. local time, candles were lit in the windows across the United Kingdom to light the darkness in a national moment of commemoration and solidarity. Prince William and Kate Middleton shared a photo of a candle on their Twitter and Instagram pages. On number Holocaust Memorial Day, we honor the survivors and remember the victims of the Holocaust, taking a moment to reflect on the lives lost as well as those immeasurably altered by genocide, the caption said. Please like and subscribe to the channel. As Prince of Wales, King Charles became patron of the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust in 2017. The Holocaust Memorial Day Trust promotes and supports Holocaust Memorial Day, which has taken place in the UK since 2001. King Charles also shared a message for Holocaust Memorial Day. As the country gathers to mark Holocaust Memorial Day 2023, we should all renew our commitment to work for a world free from identity-based persecution and violence," he said. Prejudice is always seeking out new victims to demonize, to denounce, and, ultimately, to destroy. We must make sure that it never succeeds. There is no stronger antidote to division than an appreciation of diversity. That is why I am so proud to see the rich diversity of the United Kingdom displayed in the range of groups taking part in Holocaust Memorial Day. He continued, the invaluable work of the Holocaust Memorial Day Trust ensures the testimony and experiences of survivors are shared with millions of people. In learning from the horrors of the Holocaust and the genocides which followed, we can all recommit to the vital principles of freedom of conscience, generosity of spirit, and care for others that are the surest defenses of hope. The message was signed, Charles R. The king's new signature comes with his new place as sovereign. The R after his name stands for Rex, which means king in Latin, the traditional signature for the monarch dating back to the 12th century. When used by queens, the R stands for Regina, or queen in Latin. During her historic reign, Queen Elizabeth would sign official communications as Elizabeth R. Kate previously used her photography skills to highlight survivors of the Holocaust. She photographed Stephen Frank and Yvonne Bernstein with their grandchildren as part of the photo memorial that she unveiled in February 2020. The portraits formed part of an exhibition that brought together 75 powerful images of survivors and their family members to mark 75 years since the end of the Holocaust. Thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel.